You know, things around the Switch 2 are just getting crazy right now. And I think a lot of this just comes from the lack of patience a lot of us have, myself included, uh, for when Nintendo's going to reveal the dang thing. Like, let's just be real. The only thing we know 1,000% beyond a doubt is it will be unveiled at some point uh, by the end of March of 2025 because that's what Nintendo has announced publicly. There's a high likelihood they're not going to go back on a public announcement like that. So could be this year. Could be literally January, February, March of next year. But either way, sometime in the next seven months, the system should be revealed or will be revealed unless Nintendo goes back on their public statement. Now, that's cool, but what's happening now is obviously the rumors are starting to spin back up. The closer and closer we get to console reveal, the closer and closer the rumors are going to keep coming out. And we've had quite a number of them. And Nothing really super conflicting, including a new report we have to get into today coming from GameIndustry.biz that does like rain on people's parades a little bit that we're hoping the system would be out by March. Then again, uh, the article presents April as a possibility, which, look, whether it's March or April, I don't think any of us care. I just want to be completely clear. Uh, the system doesn't come out till April. Not that big of a deal. What are we talking about here? Like, how is this even a story? But it's becoming a story. Uh, because of what exactly was said and because of who is saying it. So what uh, journalist are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about Christopher Dring over from GameIndustry.biz, and he had a podcast that they published today, and here's what he said about a minute into the show. Just listen to it for yourself. Last week on the GI Microcast, we talked about the Nintendo Switch. James made a comment about how people seem to think it's coming out in March next year. And I thought, no, nah, nobody thinks that really. And it turns out people do think that. Um, and I just wanted to say, I, I'm going to say now that that game, that console is not coming out before in this financial year. And I, and I say this for two reasons. One, when Nintendo revealed their financials, they said they were going to announce the successor to the Switch in the next financial year. Um, they didn't say they were going to release it. In previous financial years, when they have released a new console, they normally say they're going to release a new console. Um, they did for the NX, as it was called, before it became the Switch. And this time they haven't done that. They've just said they're going to announce it. So that was a big, big clue. The second one is that no developer I've spoken to expects it to be launching this in the in the in the financial year. In fact, they've been told not to expect it in the financial year. Um, a bunch of people I spoke to hope it's out in April, May time, you know, still early next year, not late. And I don't think any of us wants a late launch uh, for Switch 2 because, A, we all want a new Nintendo console. Everyone gets very excited for it. And B, we don't want that crunch of like GTA 6 and Switch and all that kind of stuff on top of each other. But um, I just wanted to quickly address a conversation from a previous microcast and then we can move on and talk about this week's news. Now, look, we're going to toss a little gameplay up right now because I, I there's just a lot of stuff to get into. My job as a content creator is to kind of try to be objective when stuff like this comes up. And you guys know I've been super, super hyped for like a potential March release and a reveal soon. And none of this has to do with when the system is going to be revealed. But I I'm supposed to be a little bit objective, report the news, give my opinion on it, speculate on what it means, and just let people know what's going on. And you can make up your own minds. And if you disagree with my speculation, that's totally fine. We might have some conversations down in the comments, but everyone's free to disagree with my, my conclusions and my opinions and all of that. Uh, however, it's kind of weird when we're talking about Christopher Dring, and if you see this reported elsewhere, you're going to see a lot of people being like, why are we listening to this person? Uh, because he's actually been shown to be more unreliable than Jeff Grubb talking about the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD coming out. And no, Jeff, I'm not throwing shade at you overall, but obviously that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD situation didn't work out for you. Uh, so let me just explain this. So Back in 2022, Christopher Dring talked about how he would have pushed Legends to a holiday release and delayed Scarlet and Violet for a few months. And like, I actually think maybe that ended up would have been a good thing because Scarlet and Violet needed more time to cook, but it's okay. That's just an opinion. But it's why he had that opinion that ends up being a problem here. He said that he has heard, this is back in 2022, that there was no Nintendo lineup post Tears of the Kingdom releasing in 2023. So no games. Nintendo has no games coming. <laughs> Obviously. He was way wrong on that front. Even even that same year as Tears of the Kingdom with Pikmin 4 and Mario Wonder and many others that come out uh, and many others that have come out this year. And you can't even say like, oh, it was the last big seller game because while well, Mario Wonder was a big seller, we have Mario Party Jamboree this year. That's going to be a big seller. And who knows? We don't know how well a brand new top-down Zelda game can sell. It'll probably at least sell as well as Kirby and the Forgotten Land, but it could sell even more. Uh, is 10 mil possible? I have no idea, but hey... It's going to sell pretty decent, and it 
will be a system mover. Hello, they're releasing a literal Switch Lite version of Zelda to coincide with the game. It's going to sell Switch Lights, so... Yeah, that's a system-selling type of game. So, in the end, uh, clearly very wrong about what he said uh, in 2022. But here's the thing. In August of 2023, he said he wasn't convinced that Mario Wonder was that big of a deal and was made by Nintendo C-Team. He said it would obviously sell well. But here's the thing. There is no C-Team for Mario, so that wasn't true. While it was not headed up by the main people that were creating Mario Odyssey and all the big 3D Mario games, you, if you want to call that the A-Team, fine. Um, save, obviously, a few developers that cross over between teams. It was certainly made by the B-Team Mario team because it was headed up by the same team that did new, the new Super Mario Bros. U series uh, and also made Mario Maker and Mario Maker 2. And nobody would call that team a C-Team at Nintendo, they would just call that the side-scrolling Mario team, right? That's not a C team. That's headed up by the best Nintendo has for that type of game. Uh, and, he, well, he said like he wasn't sure if it would boost sales or he didn't think it would boost sales that much. Uh, Mario Wonder did end up boosting sales, uh, which Chris String said would not happen. And that, combined with Tears of the Kingdom, led to Nintendo Switch to end up outselling Nintendo's own projections last fiscal year. They had to update their projections twice because the system kept selling more than they thought it would. So, yeah, Mario Wonder was a pretty damn big deal last year and a mega seller. Then, in June of this year, just, just to put more icing on the cake on why people don't really trust much of what Christopher Dring has to say about Nintendo, that is, he tossed out this tweet that simply said, nope, as in not happening, which is said in a sort of matter-of-fact-like way, to a June Nintendo Direct happening. He expanded on this later in a podcast saying he had heard there was no big Direct happening in June from Nintendo, and <laughs> yeah, he was wrong. So this has brought into question the kind of sourcing he has in regards to Nintendo overall. It's not as if he got these things wrong, but then had a whole bunch of other things correct about Nintendo in between that happens. Uh, he's just literally had nothing right about Nintendo in years. The last thing I remember getting right was like four or five years ago at this point. Now, others online have also expressed extreme doubt that any third-party developers actually know when Nintendo is releasing the system, and they likely were just speculating to Chris about what they think will happen. Now, there is that part that sort of contradicts that, where, you know, they said, well, they also, they were told it wouldn't happen, but he never expresses, like, told by who? Like, upper management, told by, you know, someone from Nintendo. There's no real information there. It's just, hey, I said it, so believe me, which, again, that's how most rumors work. Uh, and then Christopher Jing hasn't been very reliable uh, with any of those Nintendo statements for a while. Now, it's notable that while I was digging into the story and reading all the various social media places, family boards and Reset Era on Twitter and everything else, uh, others have gone on their way to check with developers. Now, again, I can't verify they actually know developers, but people that claim they know developers with dev kits have, you know, basically said that, hey, none of the developers we know is switched to dev kits uh, are saying that they know anything about when the system's coming out, whether it's coming out in Q1, whether it's coming out later, they don't actually have release information. So to be told that like, oh, it's not going to come out. Well, again, if they don't have release information, then they haven't been told when or when you know, like not it's, it's coming. So I, look, I can't obviously dive into and verify their stuff. What I can say is, Look, I know one developer. You don't have to believe me. It's totally fine. I get that people think my track record is garbage, even though most of the time I'm just reporting other people's stuff. But I do know uh, one developer that uh, works at a company that has a dev kit. And when I reached out and asked them, uh, they were told that nobody at the company has heard a damn thing about when Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out. This is a pretty massive company. So... Uh, you know, word gets around at that company about a lot of different things, and there's no word about when Nintendo Switch 2 is coming or any word that it's not coming at a certain time period. Uh, everyone seems, from, from what I, you know, I'm being told, uh, it seems that everyone's just kind of waiting for Nintendo to make the public announcement, and they kind of feel like that announcement will clarify everything. If it doesn't have a release date or a release timing in it, uh, they feel like developers will be updated at that time about when that release timing is. So it's, yeah, look, in the end, uh, this isn't me trying to like throw a lot of shade at Christopher Dring because I don't know him, but like part of being objective in my reporting, and I'll fully admit, I'm obviously biased because I have a personal hopium copium that the system's coming sooner than later, right? I recognize this system may not come out until holiday 2025. I also recognize deep down 
there's a possibility it's not out till 2026. I'm not silly. I'm not stupid. I'm well aware that those are possibilities. It's also possible it still releases in quarter one of next year. It's also possible it releases in April, May, June, etc. Summer, July, August. I mean, it could release, release whatever. I get that. We don't have any release information. What we have is information from Nintendo on a time frame for when they're going to make an announcement about the platform. So I know all this, right? So when we're talking about rumors and speculation, I get really hyped and really excited about things. Mostly because I'm excited for the reveal. Like the reveal to me is a bigger deal than the release right now because we don't know anything official about the platform outside of like, I guess, leaks from shipping data. And even then, like, you know, not 1000% sure that that's like final specs for things. So the way that I look at this is 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 what? What is what what is my position here? I need to bring the information forward to you guys, and I did it. And I felt in a little form of objectivity, I should mention all the stuff that he got wrong. I also should mention that just because he got all that stuff wrong doesn't mean he's wrong right now. He could be 100% right about this. So I'm just going to sit back and say, I hope he's wrong, right? I hope he's wrong. Uh, I, I think that's a fair thing to say. I think my hopium and copium wants him uh, to be wrong because I want the system to come sooner than later. But then if you listen to what was said, like they were saying, well, you know, they were hoping or thinking it might come out in April or May. I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, oh, no, if it's a couple of months after March, is that like a really big deal to me? Not really. Uh, I, the bigger deal to me is just reveal the damn thing. And we already know. Look, the countdown's on, man. The countdown is on. It's being revealed no matter what by the end of March. Like, the countdown's already on. Obviously, I would like for it to be revealed this year. And yes, I've heard every single argument all of you have presented over and over again about why Nintendo uh, won't reveal it in 2024. And you might be right. I'm not here to tell you otherwise. I have no source. I know no information other than what's already out there from other people's rumors about any possibility of it being revealed in 2024. But I sure would like it to be, <laughs> right? I'd like it to be revealed. Uh, Nintendo's already announced the platform exists. Like, that's the big announcement. So now we just got to see it, right? We got to see it. We got to see game teases, marketing, all of that. And again, they might wait till 2025 for that stuff, and I know that. But I think I did my job. I think I delivered the information. You guys can do with that information what you like. Uh, if you believe it, that's fine. If you don't believe it, it's whatever. Uh, it's technically, these are all just rumors. This obviously just coming from a journalist from a rather big outlet, but a journalist that at least when it comes to Nintendo, I'm not going to say everything because they have gotten a few other reports right along the way. I do think they know developers. I don't think, I don't think Christopher Dring is lying. I don't think he's going out of his way to lie about stuff with Nintendo. I do just wonder if the people that he has for his sources, maybe they act like they know more about what's going on than they really do. Or maybe they're fed misinformation intentionally just to have misinformation float on the internet to keep things as a surprise. Uh, I know that it was Mike Odyssey, I think, who came on one of my podcasts back when he used to work at Apple. Uh, I don't think he works there anymore. Maybe he still does. But when he worked at Apple, he mentioned that, yeah, even like Apple as a corporation, you know, would sometimes put out, you know, fake rumors through certain places uh and just kind of throw people off and keep things uh more surprising and you know, it does nintendo practice in that i don't know it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they did and maybe maybe that's christopher Dring's role in everything or maybe that's just my hopium i'm talking uh in the end we know it's being revealed by march right no matter what it's being revealed by march and that's already exciting uh so we'll just have to wait and see what happens also what's really cool is next nintendo's next financial briefing like if it's not revealed this year well they do have one more financial briefing this year does include a q a so their last financial briefing did not have a q a associated with the 85th annual meeting of shareholders that that did not have a q a associated with it but the next financial briefing does have a q a and you know he's going to get drilled about switch too you just i mean you can't just you can't just drop the announcement in a tweet and then expect to not get drilled about it every single financial uh, Q&A after. So we'll see if anything comes out. We'll see if Nintendo's announced it before then. And until then, I'm going to keep bringing you guys all the latest rumors and reports. Uh, there's apparently something out there. I'm still doing some research on this, by the way. This could be in a future video uh, where we might have some Nintendo confirmation on the technology inside Switch 2. Right now, all the confirmation we had is just like leaks and like different things out there. But, you know, 
it, it turns out Nintendo themselves might have confirmed what tech is inside the Switch 2. So uh, I'm doing some research on that and some verifications. And we have more game rumors and, and, and all this stuff as well that I do think is relevant for its own video. So yeah, guys, please look forward. We're going to have another Switch 2 video, at least one more this week. I don't control the news cycle. I don't control. I didn't control Christopher Drink saying this stuff today. I don't control any of it. I'm just here to bring you the latest and greatest. And uh, hey, uh, Echoes of Wisdom Twitter account. You don't have to, but I would appreciate some new screenshots for Echoes of Wisdom. You don't. You don't got to. I'm good. You gave us a big blowout last week. But I wouldn't mind talking about some Zelda this week. Uh, we definitely will be talking about some Zelda on the podcast. That's for sure. God darn, do we have a massive podcast coming up, man. Dude, so much Switch 2 stuff to talk about. Whatever. I'll be live tonight as well to talk more Switch 2. So I'll see you guys then. Catch you guys uh, either in that live stream or in tomorrow's video. Bye, everyone.